Hi, kitty cats. I had an opportunity today to speak with Neil Laird. He is a fascinating filmmaker, and I've linked his TikTok below. Neil has made historical documentaries for huge networks, and in the process, he found examples of LGBTQ behavior across ancient history. And that's his passion now, bringing that LGBTQ history to life for a modern audience. So I asked Neil about modern stories and if the LGBTQ community obscures its own history. And Neil used a phrase that really made me think. In discussing the Stonewall riots of 1969, Neil used the phrase the Stonewall mythology. Mythology. It really brought home that humans learn best about humanity by hearing stories about humans doing exceptional things. And even when those stories aren't strictly something you could fact check, expanding the human experience to include even fantastic events opens us further to our possibilities. So this line of thought is interesting this week because I'm currently writing an article about a Welsh goddess named Blodiawith. And she was created from flowers in the daytime, the light, and forced into a gender role she would never have chosen. In fact, it was likely illegal according to ancient Welsh law. But when she decides to take back her identity and live as she chooses, she's punished, turned into an owl, banished to the nighttime. Blodiawith's story is an excellent example of how mythology teaches about humanity. Because as somebody born into a gender role I didn't choose, then forced to banish the identity I would choose to the closet, the dark, the nighttime, I understand how Blodiawith must have felt. My article about Blodiawin should publish tomorrow, and my podcast with Neil should publish the first week of October. But I'm thinking about how mythology shapes the way society views real events. How much do we truly know about what happens in the world? How much of that just becomes myth? And how much does it really matter when the purpose is to understand humanity? It's an interesting thought. So, talk soon. Bye!